hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is joy Odifa. welcome to my space thank you guys for always returning if you're a new subscriber please do not make this your last please click on the subscribe button and join this family so yes guys mm, today is a sunday we are back from church i know your regular sundays how do you do you go out? Do you find your Sunday as a relaxing day? You just chill at home, watch Netflix and chill. Just Netflix, then you chill. Or is a day for you to go out, to venture different location in your area, in your state, in your city? How do you spend your Sunday? Because for me, I spend my Sunday at home feeling relaxed, feeling great, just doing it but that doesn't mean i don't go out on sunday but that's not my thing i just find sunday as a day of relaxing after church just relax and rest so yes i know every sunday like is a tradition is a norm that in an african home every sunday you cook rice and stew but today is a game changer for this family <laughs> so i will be cooking corn and beans the reason I'm cooking this corn and beans is because I just harvested corn from my farm. If you watch my previous video, you will see where I show you guys my farm. And there was corn there. I planted corn and it's I harvested it today because birds were already feeding on it. And I could like they were almost done with half of the farmland where I planted corn. I don't know how these creatures eat things so quick. Like the last time I planted, uh, when the the banana I planted started have um, bringing out fruit, I was like I was going to harvest it earlier, before a twinkle of an eye, hmm. birds have eaten like half of the banana, and I'm like, hmm. if I let this corn sit any longer, at the end of the day I'm not going to eat anything from that corn. So I had to harvest it. Shout out to my mother-in-law because she's the one that brought the idea of planting corn there. For let for me, I don't care. I don't have time for those things. But I promise to invest more time on it. If my phone is shaking, my hand is pinning me. I'm holding my phone. Look at Chris that <laughs> I'm holding my phone. So today I'll be cooking beans and corn. I don't know what that is called. Maybe the traditional name, I don't know, but I'm cooking beans on the corn. I will show you guys the process or the corn I harvested. I, I harvested few from it. Some are still very small, they are not yet mature. So I left those ones there, hoping that they grow and not become like that. So, like guys, I don't know what is this that is coming out from my face. Immediately after pregnancy, I had this at my back. I was always complaining to the to the doctors. They were like, after pregnancy, it will go. After delivery, it will go. After I deliver, it will go. So now, I've given birth. My baby is almost three months. The one on my back has cleared. Only small that is remaining. But I don't know why this one had to come to my face after... I, had, I delivered, I gave it to my baby. I don't know why this thing came out, came out from my face. Like during pregnancy, it was not there. After I gave it one month, two months, it was not there. Three months, like I started seeing all these things. And at this point, I don't know how to treat this stuff. I don't just know if I should use antifungal on my face. I don't know. I don't just know. At this point, I'm confused. So if you have anything, hints, or any home remedy, anything whatsoever that can clear this out of my face, please let me know. Because I'm not a makeup person, and this thing is making me apply foundation every time I want to go out. Because it's, it looks somehow. Look. So yes, guys. I'll see you guys when I get to the kitchen. I've not made my hair. Hopefully I make it this week. So yes, guys. So 
right now I'm putting her on sitting position because she doesn't like lying down again. Like lying down like punishment to her. So I put her in sitting position. Anytime she's tired, she drew herself down. Just like this now, she'll draw herself down. She was sitting before upright. Now she's lying down. So yes, guys, let me not talk too much. I will see you guys in my kitchen. I might not I might carry you guys through the process. I might not, but I will definitely show you guys the final result of Adalu. My mom does not want me to go and cook. Mama. She doesn't want me to cook. Sorry guys, the other clip I was showing my I was looking at the camera. I wasn't looking at the camera, be yes, the lens. I wasn't looking at the lens. I was looking at myself. I was admiring myself. So sorry guys. She doesn't want me to go and cook cook her fit. Mama. Say hi. Hi. So don't worry guys. So we're going to do an official video introducing my baby girl to you guys. Her name when I give birth to her and everything. So I don't know if that one will come before this video. Or after but just subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos Stop it. so I'm doing exclusive breastfeeding I've been doing it for three months three months I think Mama, stop now. <laughs> so, yes, guys, I will see you in my kitchen. The last one. The last one. <laughs> Mama, say bye. Bye bye. Apuch, apuch. Give them a kiss. Mwah. So, yes, guys, this is the corner we use. And I already started before I remember I was vlogging. So I use knife. Let me show you guys how I do it. The rest, you know the seed. While I was trying to bring out the seed from the corn, I was boiling my beans. So right now I'm going to change it, change the water, rinse it. Because I stem which of the beans you. Put. She just slept for like five minutes. I said, "Oh God." Not to go up to 30 minutes. Guys, she just slept for like five minutes. So let me quickly cook the corn and beans. Her mom did not even sleep for long. She's screaming as if she's not eating for years. Remember, she just three months. I know that she's still feeling sleepy. She's so clingy these days. Mm. Just. Mm. I'm your hebab class. I've already started cooking already. Like this kid thing. Too breath. I was so excited when she slept. Because normally she sleeps 3 p.m. This is. This is 2.36. So she slept earlier than her, her usual ways. So I was very excited. I don't know that this girl had other plans. I don't know that she had other plans to wake up early. She got 
Hopefully she sleeps. We're already closing her eyes. So yeah guys, back to the kitchen. I was already done with the with the corn before I had her voice. So let's go. Because my hair is not good for the camera that I just decided to tie. See I'm sweating. Taking those seeds from that corn and long thing, whatever it is, <laughs> you guys understand. It's hard. So let's go. Let me show you guys. I'm done already. How it looks like I'm going to wash it. This is the seed, and this is where I took them out from. So, these ones were quite strong, very strong. So, I'm going to dry them, possibly use them for popcorn. Ones that are dried enough. So in here is my water. I'm going to add in the parboiled bean. So this is the parboiled bean. You can see my water is not boiling. I'm going to add it. So it's in my pot. So I'm going to wash my Say hi. Hi. Look at the camera. Say hi, Shen. Hi. Hi. So she's slicing the onions. I'm going to let the beans boil for like 10 minutes before adding in my corn. So guys, I know most of you will be confused when to add your corn into the beans so it doesn't get hard or the beans doesn't become softer than the corn. The reason I'm adding, normally you're supposed to add it immediately you, after power boiling, immediately you add your beans, you add in your corn so they're done together like it will be perfect. But because this is a fresh corn, please don't. Are you tired? Because this is a fresh corn, so I'm going to add the beans boil for like 10 minutes before adding in my corn. So the corn doesn't become softer than the beans. It just become alright, like the same consistency. The same texture okay so I'm going out to receive fresh air because of Krista she's at my back because of she's my back I'm sleeping I was thinking she won't sleep before I do everything but her eyes are wide open and if I drop her she's going to cry so to just be there I know she's sweating because she's sweat a lot I don't know why she has to take that part of me? I sweat a lot, like sweat and I sweat. Any small exposure to sun, I sweat. And she has to take that part of me. She sweats a lot. So, and that at times makes her uncomfortable. Let me show you guys my banana and plantain in my farm i don't know why banana thrive better than plantain i have like three plantain three bananas growing well but plantain is just one one is about two let me show you guys let me stop talking so you can see this is one this is the plantain plantain is not even much just can't see plantain that's one plantain there that's another one and if you can see it that's another one that's two then there's one inside close to that fence there over there and this plantain and another plantain is going but i know that, that one will not even do well it's not going to do well at all i doubt if the seeds will be up to five i doubt if the seeds will be up to five I have leaf over there, bitter leaf. In there, there is also pumpkin leaf, but you can't see it because the bitter leaf is growing more. Sugar cane, scent leaf, and all stuff. I'm trying to while away time, why so she can sleep. 
while I wait for 10 minutes, go in and add the corn. I want her to sleep. She doesn't sleep as I'm moving like this, then she's not ready to sleep. Let me tell you guys what happened during my last visit to the hospital for her immunization. So I was seated around many women and you know immunization center, different nursing mothers, basically mothers with babies, children. So I was asked if I'm doing exclusive breastfeeding. I said yes. So there's this other lady she so she's doing exclusive breastfeeding because my baby is kind of small like this small she's yes yeah, she's in a small size so she's doing exclusive breastfeeding and her baby is very big two months why mine was three months out of then was three months she was doing exclusive breastfeeding and her baby was so big with the fact that she's three months and everybody was like this other lady so she was doing exclusive breastfeeding she said so we are three we are discussing three of us i am doing exclusive breastfeeding the other lady is doing exclusive breastfeeding her baby is two months hers is bigger than mine her baby is bigger than mine then the other lady she said she wanted to do exclusive breastfeeding but her baby was not growing. I don't know. She said her baby was not growing. Her baby was just get was small. And I was like, as long as your baby is adding weight every visit, because I checked that weight. Like I I make it a point of duty to always check her weight before leaving the hospital during her immunization. So I already know that she's adding weight, even though it's not rapid, like it's not much, she's adding weight. That is a good sign. And I told her that as long as her baby is adding weight, that means she's feeding. And mind you, the weight is always on our card. So if there's any concern on that weight, there are nurses there that will call you and tell you about it. That what are you doing that making this baby not gain the necessary weight they are supposed to gain? She said many people were talking to her that. She should stop the exclusive breastfeeding that is not helping the baby, but that is making the baby small. And she started formula, and the formula same thing. She said the, she, the baby started adding weight, but now I want you guys to help me. Like comment down. The, there's exclusive breastfeeding. Make made if you're a mother, if you're a mother right now and you have done exclusive breastfeeding before. Did that exclusive breastfeeding make your baby gain like lots of weight or formula? Or if you have given birth to more than one children, you have tried exclusive breastfeeding for one and mix like breastfeeding and formula for one. Does that mean the exclusive breastfeeding doesn't make your baby gain weight or it made your baby gain weight? For me, the weight is not even consigned to me. Like rapid gain of weight is not a concern to me. As long as she's gaining she's following her milestone she's gaining the appropriate weight it's okay for me perfectly okay for me but she she wanted a chubby baby and as much in as much as she has added the formula and breastfeeding the baby is not chubby so i believe maybe that's just the stature of the baby okay so yes guys i don't know if i'm making sense but i know i'm making sense most of you want to Will understand what I'm trying to say. So, if you are in that category where you are doing exclusive breastfeeding and you are not seeing the necessary weights or the weights that you, because most times this thing is in our head, we believe that when we do exclusive breastfeeding, the baby is going to be so chubby and everything. But no, this exclusive breastfeeding helps the baby necessarily in necessary part of their life, their brain wise and. Mind you, no shade to those using formula. I'm just trying to say my own because I feel like, especially new parents, we tend to feel discouraged when we are doing exclusive breastfeeding and our baby is not very chubby. Just know that that breast milk is doing a lot in that baby life. 
is physically mentally emotionally is making them stable so forget about as long as they are not reducing when it should be a concern to you when the weight should be a concern to you is when maybe a week ago they were three kg then he said normally as it's progressing they should be adding that's the normal thing i don't know if i'm because i'm moving too much normally they should be adding but once you see that it's not reducing the weight is not going up it's rather right, going down that is when it should be a concern to you and my hospital rather instead of them to ask you to use formula they will give you remedy to boost your milk supply okay so don't be discouraged keep on the good work Keep on the good work if you're already using doing formula if you're, already, if you're already introduced formula to your baby you're also a great mom you're doing the lost work because going into that labor world i call it favor world going into the and coming out with your child is a miracle like it's the greatest miracle ever and you're doing that you're already a super mom so i don't see formula breastfeeding which is that doesn't determine how fabulous you are, how super you are. You are a great mom, and that's on period. But if you're breastfeeding exclusively, or you plan to do exclusively, but you're not seeing that chubby baby, that chubbiness in your baby, please continue. At the end of the day, these children will grow up, and they'll start saying they want to watch their weight. Just f do your normal thing. Breastfeed them, time to introduce solid, you introduce solid to them. Your prayer should be during time of introducing solid, they should accept it and not start crying because many children that do exclusively tend to reject solid. But that should be one of your prayer points. Oh Lord, as I'm standing solid, let my baby accept it because that's my prayer point of because I don't want that stress of forcing children forcing the child to eat is going to be very hectic for the mother and for the child so i think it's up to 10 minutes now let me go and add the corn to the beans then we'll continue our discussion just comment on the comment section drop your comments on the comment section tell me everything if you are a mom tell me your experience the people judge you because like my mom called me she said this lady when she saw the baby the baby is four months very fat and big and she asked the mother how many months when the mother told her the month she was shocked because the baby is big then she said she wanted to do exclusive that like she planned to do exclusive breastfeeding and i due to the fact that the baby wasn't chubby my in laws were saying the baby is not getting enough milk let her do formula let her do introduce formula so in this case she was forced to introduce formula not because that's what she wants but she was forced to introduce formula to that child so if you're a new mom and you plan to do exclusive don't align don't make anyone judge what you want to do for your child if you are trying to do exclusive the best thing for them to do is give you tips on how to increase your breast milk and doctors are there gynecologists, pediatricians are there to help you in to help you increase your breast milk do what you want to do do what's best for you don't let anyone judge judge you on what you want to do if you want to do formula go ahead it's great if you want to do breastfeeding go ahead it's great just do what you want to do okay i'll see you guys later this is all i see yeah yeah, yeah. your mercy is ever new daily daily all my life, Farah, give me a brand new song. You really do wonder. So the beans is boiling. This is my corn. I'm going to add in the corn. Now give me the water. In the water. I'm going to add a little water. So yes guys, she's sleeping, finally. She's sleeping finally, but the issue is, if I drop her now, will she, will she wake up or will she continue sleeping? Children, eh? you can test your patience. <laughs> God. See, let me drop her down because her neck, 
her neck is not well she won't put my head forward see her neck so i can't even carry her long guys so put her down Guys, should I use this antibacterial cream on this stuff here? Or should I not use it? Because at this point, I'm tempted to use this because I don't know if this is a fungi or a bacteria. Because I've never experienced this in my life. This pregnancy is bringing out things from my body I don't like. Making me insecure about it. I'm talking. I'm sorry if you can't hear me. I'm talking quietly because you know the struggle now. You know the struggle. We just went to home, Madam C to sleep. So, so let me know. Should I use these doctors in the house? If you're a doctor, you come across this my video. Please, should I use this or not? I'm definitely going to ask my doctor. But these doctors are telling me another thing. They say, Madam, you just give it. Let your body. Here, let your body get itself back like your hormones are everywhere. Is this one hormone? I'm, I'm concerned you know, because I don't like it. Oh, I just want to munch on bread now before that food done gets done. If you're in Benin, you know this bread matters. This bread. I love this bread so much like it's so sweet moist like you know whenever i'm eating bread and like those dead come out i don't know if it's good over those small small bread particles falling out from the bread like that and it's so annoying like a pet peeve i don't like it uh, i don't like it around me i don't like it at all but this matter is bread oh my god i can't finish one loaf this is something I've already eaten half, like only me. I've eaten almost. Is this one half? It's almost finished. I don't think what's remaining there is up to five slices, and I'm the only one that just ate it. So I'm taking this one to the dining so Deborah can eat from it also, because she eats rice. There was little rice remaining before going to church. Before going to church, so she ate the rice. I think that that rice is small, it's not really enough for her, so she's going to eat bread. I put it to my room because I don't want it to be on that dining table. Mm. This bread is so sweet. Mantai's bread is the best. I love it so much. Mm. So if you want to buy this material, buy it from their fast food. Because the jazz is fresher than those roadside. I am. see you guys when my food is ready because i've shown you guys basically the the hardest part Abby. if it's not hard like the main part of it 
the rest is just add the ingredients as if you're cooking your beans and you're ready the food is ready the bread, I'm gonna take bread and it's ready so in case I don't show you guys or carry guys along just know that your sweetheart is disturbing Guys, I'm back to the kitchen, so let's continue what started so I can go and rest before she wakes up. There's a white spot, so you can't really see from the bones. I have put up the gas just basically. Like this is so so yummy. So I'm ready. It's so soft it's just the way I want it. So I'm going to prepare the base. This is my fry pan. This is ready. So yes guys, I'm done. Please do well. It's so nice. So I'm going to end the vlog here so I can enjoy my food. Please do well to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, please let's get to 4,000 watch hours. So yeah, I'll be monetized. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Hello guys, it's raining heavily. Let me show Immediately after eating that corn and beans, the next thing is sleep on a normal. But because I have a baby girl right here, I can't sleep. She's awake. Her eyes are widely open. 
And this weather is tempting me, but I can't see if she's awake. So that brings us to the end of this vlog. If you know you enjoyed this vlog, please do well to like, share, and subscribe. And please, please comment, okay? Please comment, watch.